Sam Kiley, our security editor, has been uh, covering this as well, keeping his eye on developments, talking to his contacts in Scandinavia. Uh, Sam, we have heard now from uh, uh, Norwegian television that there have been um, several people killed after that shooting on Utoya. Yes, uh, my own uh, sources uh, monitoring uh, police radio uh, indicating that five indeed have uh, been killed sadly on a toy by what it does appear to have been a lone gunman uh, described as being over, over six foot tall, uh, blonde and speaking uh, fluent Norwegian. Uh, and for those who are speculating uh, as to who, who might have uh, conducted what is clearly a coordinated attack uh, on the uh, political establishment in Norway, both in uh, the capital Oslo and out at Atoya. Uh, a small part of them at least will be examining uh, the far-right groups. Uh, there are, uh, there have been some concerns uh, raised by uh, Jewish groups in the United Kingdom uh, to the Norwegian government through the House of Lords about three years ago. Uh, these Jewish groups have been monitoring uh, neo-Nazi websites and they'd noticed an increasing level of violence and an increasing uh, series of conspiracy theories about uh, Jewish domination of the banking and the usual uh, anti-Semitic stuff uh, which was very uh, and how the United Nations uh, was a part of uh, the attempt to build a new world order now this is usually dismissed as crackpot stuff uh, until somebody like Timothy McVeigh or, or this uh, apparently blonde uh, gunman uh, nonetheless, I think that the majority of uh, fingers of suspicion are going to be pointed at Al-Qaeda-related groups, not least uh, the Taliban or affiliates of the Taliban, who have been warning Norway, uh, warning Norway, Andrew, that uh, they need to get their troops out of Afghanistan uh, or face uh, bloody revenge on the streets. And then on top of that, uh, there is this man, uh, Mullah Krekar, who is a leading a theologian within Ansar al-Islam, uh, very close to al-Qaeda, uh, a very deeply fundamentalist and ultra-violent ultra uh, movement that had its birth uh, in uh, northern Iraq and was uh, pretty much annihilated by American special forces and Kurdish troops uh, in 2003. But he has been fighting deportation from Norway uh, because of allegations that he's been involved in inciting terror. Uh, and had warned a year ago that uh, Norwegian politicians would pay with their lives uh, if he did get kicked out of the country.